This is your fault. You either made a mistake or you did this on purpose. Believe me, King of Shadows, it was just a mistake. Uh, didn't you tell me to look for somebody in Athenian clothes? And I found a guy in Athenian clothes. Just because it's my mistake doesn't mean I can't enjoy it. Come on, this stuff is priceless. The two guys just headed into the woods looking for a place to fight. I want you to go there right now, cover the stars in the sky, and roll in a black fog. And what's that going to do? Puck has this ability to imitate people's voices. A man of many talents. So he can make these two guys even more angry with each other by imitating their voices and leading them on a wild goose chase without ever having them fight. They'll get so exhausted that they'll pass out, and then Puck can put this antidote in Lysander's eyes. And that means he'll love Hermia again. Exactly. And this business in the woods will seem like a dream. A Midsummer Night's Dream. That's right. What a nice way to put it. A Midsummer Night's Dream. A fruitless vision. And then they'll go back to Athens as the lovers they should be. If I could just ask you one question. When you say a fruitless vision, what do you mean by fruitless? It bears no fruit, so, you know, it doesn't really add up to anything. Uh, he may have enjoyed it, but it didn't do anything for them. They can just leave it behind them now. Got it. And while you're leading those young men around the forest, I'll go to my queen and ask for her Indian boy. Right, right. I almost forgot about that. I guess you and Titania aren't in the clear yet, are you? Well, in her current state, in love with a monstrous Pyramus, <laughs> she'll give me the boy no problem. And then I'll give her the antidote and everything will be peaceful again. You better hurry, my fairy lord. The sun's about to come up. Ghosts are already trooping home to their churchyard graves. There are ghosts out here, too? You don't see them? Damned spirits, too, who don't have a proper grave but still need to get back to their wormy beds. They don't want the sun to shine on their shameful lives. Well, that took a dark turn. But we are spirits of another sort. Fairies love playing in the early morning light. But still, we should work fast. Let's get this done before the day starts. So, just to make sure our audience is keeping up, you, Oberon, are going to get the Indian boy from Titania and then give her the antidote to the love potion. And Puck is going to give Lysander the antidote so that he falls back in love with Hermia. Right. Though he needs to wear them out first so they fall asleep. Up and down. Up and down. I will lead them up and down. I am feared in field and town. Goblin, lead them up and down. <laughs> well, good luck to you both. Thanks for joining us, everyone. <laughs>